Repair Clinic makes fixing things easy. With millions of replacement parts available on our website and the help you need to do the repair yourself. Since we encourage you to perform this procedure safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. Before you begin the installation of the Canopy Range Vent Hood, refer to the installation manual for a list of recommended tools and parts you may need. When properly installed, the vent hood should be mounted at least 24 inches above an electric cooktop and at least 27 inches above a gas cooktop. The electrical supply for the appliance must be 120 volts at 60 hertz. A dedicated circuit is recommended. The vent hood can be installed to recirculate the air or vented to the outside of the home. When venting to the outside, round 6-inch diameter heavy rigid metal venting should be used. Refer to the vent system charts in the installation manual to determine the size and number of vent sections and elbow joints required. No more than three 90-degree elbow joints should be used, and there should be a minimum of 24 inches of straight venting between the elbow joints. A vent cap with a backdraft damper will need to be installed over the venting on the home's exterior wall or roof. Caulking should be used to seal the space around the cap. Place the range hood components on a flat surface covered by a blanket or a piece of cardboard. Determine and mark the center line on the wall where the range hood will be installed. Select the appropriate mounting height between 24 and 36 inches from the cooktop and mark a reference line on the wall. Now align the provided template with the markings on the wall and use tape to secure. Mark where the upper fastener holes should be drilled as indicated on the template. As well as the lower fastener holes appropriate to the size of the hood. Once the holes are marked, remove the template. Use a 3 16th inch diameter drill bit when drilling pilot holes for the larger mounting screws to be secured in wood. Use a 7 16th inch diameter drill bit when drilling pilot holes for use with wall anchors. When threading the upper mounting screws, leave a quarter inch gap between the back of the screw head and the wall. Next, center the vent cover bracket on the wall approximately one eighth of an inch from the ceiling and mark the hole locations. Use a 5 inch diameter drill bit to drill the two pilot holes when drilling into wood or a 3 8 inch diameter drill bit when drilling for wall anchors. Align the vent cover bracket and thread the screws to secure, using the wall anchors if required. Now align the space around the top of the hood. Use a number 10 Torx bit to thread and tighten the screws to secure. Position the outlet plate and secure it with the screws. Now align the round vent transition with damper on the outlet plate and thread the screws to secure. Depending on how the home's venting is installed, you may need to attach the vent transition after the vent hood is mounted. Next, remove the screws to release the terminal box cover.
Depending on which side the home power supply cable will enter the terminal box, remove the appropriate knockout plug. Install a half-inch diameter UL-listed or CSA-approved conduit connector. Now using two or more people, hang the range vent hood assembly on the upper mounting screws. Confirm the vent hood is level, then tighten the mounting screws. Lower the access cover and remove the grease filters. Now thread and tighten the lower mounting screws. Align the venting on the vent transition damper and secure. Be sure to turn off the power before connecting the power supply cable. Feed the power supply cable through the conduit connector and into the terminal box. Tighten the connector screw or screws to secure the cable. Now connect the two white wires together and secure them using an approved UL listed wire nut. Do the same to secure the two black wires together. Connect the green or bare ground wires from the home power supply cable to the green ground wire in the terminal box. With all of the wires positioned inside the terminal box, replace the cover and secure it with the screws. Now install the vent covers by aligning the lower cover on the vent hood. Then lift the upper cover up to the ceiling. Use a Phillips head screwdriver to thread the screws to secure the cover to the bracket. Reinstall the grease filters, then raise and secure the access cover. Turn the power supply back on, and the canopy range vent hood should be ready for use. At Repair Clinic, we make fixing things easy. Thank you for supporting the production of these videos by purchasing your parts from our website.